I am making a video of how to build the monster truck. stable, isn't it? Hello, and welcome to the Crafty Robot. Okay, so uh, the Pug monster truck I made a couple of weeks ago um, out of cardboard with a two-year-old didn't last that long. So I wanted to make a more durable one and I also wanted to make one that was better at driving over stuff. And I realized I hadn't done a design for folks to 3D print at home for a while, and so I thought, 3D printed monster truck, that'll probably be pretty cool. I've been thinking for a while about how to do suspension on 3D printed vehicles. We're not gonna print um, springs and shock absorbers very easily out of PLA. Then I was thinking, uh, what could we make suspension out of that everyone's got, um, especially everyone who's got a SmartyBot kit? And I realized that we might be able to do suspension using uh, the elastic bands that come in the SmartyBot kit. And uh, that's what this monster truck has. What's really cool about that is it's adjustable, so you can make it stiffer or softer by changing the number of elastic bands. To make this truck, literally all you need, apart from your uh, 3D printer and filament, is uh, the parts from a SmartyBot kit, one of these little uh, nine gram servos, which are really, really cheap and easy to get all over the place, and a few extra M3 fixings. The truck is controlled with the app using the SmartyBot circuit board, and uh, it has just two of the motors from the SmartyBot kit, the two that come in the kit, and then the nine gram servo does the steering. So these are, uh, PLA wheels and tires um, look really, really, really cool. And um, they're quite good for climbing over things, but um, they're a bit kind of crispy, I guess. 
bit hard. With my machine, um, I can't print flexible filament at any sensible speed. So uh, I wasn't going to be printing big tires like this that are flexible. And I figured a lot of other people that haven't got great machines are probably in the same position. So um, I wanted to do some flexible tires and I was trying to work out how to do that. And I realized that we can use tennis balls. So you can 3D print these wheels and then you can uh, fit them into some tennis balls and have these nice uh, squishy tennis ball tires. You can also use these wheel adapters I designed for running potato wars to make vegetable wheels uh, for your monster truck. Um, I did it with some parsnips, it looks amazing. A cool thing about being able to change the suspension by changing the number of elastic bands is uh, you can slam your uh, monster truck by uh, making the suspension really, really, really soft and then putting on small low profile wheels. So uh, this is a nice little low profile um, Lego wheel and uh, this is a 3D printed Smarty Bot motor to Lego wheel adapter. Gives our monster truck a real um, LA lowrider vibe. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, let me know what you think I should make next in the comments. Um, if you make one of these, please share it on social media or send me a picture or a video. It'd be wonderful to see. Please like and subscribe. Bye-bye.